So the first one is, I have a question about using an LLC to invest in the stock market. Would it create any tax benefit? Such a good question. The straightforward answer is no. Okay, creating an LLC to invest in the stock market doesn't in itself create any sort of tax benefit. But let's talk about why that is and let's talk about the exception. So the main reason you guys to create an LLC versus just doing business or investing under your social security number is to separate that venture, whatever it is, from you personally, legally, okay? As always, hashtag not a lawyer, okay? Just an accountant. But creating an LLC to perform your business or to invest in, in other ventures, right? It creates a corporate veil that separates your interest in the business from you personally. So the biggest benefit or the reason people do this is because it prevents someone from going after your personal assets if they sue you or go after your business. All right, are you with me? So creating an LLC for anything, okay, whether it's to for your for your business, for your Etsy, for your side hustle, for your investing, for your crypto investing, for your real estate company, any of those things, creating the LLC is strictly a legal umbrella, okay? It's just kind of is separating you, pulling that investment away from you personally, from a legal point of view. An LLC can be set up anytime you start a business or as a vehicle for investing. Like I said, um, you can do it from the get-go. You can do it you know, later down the road. When we talk about from an investing point of view, guys, we have people, we have clients all the time setting up LLCs so that they can invest in real estate, so they can invest in partnerships, so they can invest in corporations, and so they can invest. They don't really set it up to invest in the stock market, but you absolutely can. An LLC can invest in the stock market. No rules against that. But like I said, the LLC in itself, creating that does not give you any sort of tax benefit. An LLC is taxed exactly the same as if you're performing those same activities under your social, okay? Whether again, it's starting a, or running a business, uh, running a real estate um, rental property, you know, um, or investing in, a, in another business, investing in the stock market, it's all taxed the same unless you file an S-Corp election or create an LLC with someone else and thus becomes a partnership or you create a C-Corporation, okay? But again, we're talking as an LLC, setting that up is just a legal, I keep calling it an umbrella, but it's just a legal separation of your business activity against your personal activity. That all said, if you guys are talking about or asking about day trading, minute trading, if you've heard that, right, where people are actually just sitting on like their job is sitting there constantly trading, okay? We have clients who do this, okay? And that's a different story. So this has nothing to do with setting up an LLC, but this has a difference to do with what your activity actually is. If you're just like, I wanna invest $10,000 in the stock market, then creating an LLC is not gonna create any tax benefit. But if you are what is called a, a professional trader, Okay, let's talk real quick. I don't know how many of you are in this group that would even be considered this, but I just wanna let you guys kind of know that this exists and it's out there. Because, you know, I don't want you to come back and be like, well, I have friends who say that their LLC gets a tax benefit. It's not the LLC that's getting the tax benefit, it's the business activity that they're doing, all right? So we're called professional traders, okay? So with a professional trader, you get to take your gains and losses from the stock market or uh, you know, your stock market investments, your crypto investments, if you're a crypto investor, and you get to take them as losses on your Schedule C, okay? You gotta take your gains too, all right? But it all goes as a Schedule C, as a business, all right? So when you're just investing, you're passively investing, right? You are limited on your losses, okay? Passive investment activities have limitations that the IRS sets. A Schedule C business doesn't, okay? You can take Schedule C business losses against any other income you have to essentially know there's no threshold on that. So that's where the tax benefit of being a day trader versus a casual investor would come into, in, into play. Because when you're in a, a passive investor, if you have losses, you're limited to taking 3,000 every year. As a professional trader, those capital gains and losses are, are not buried, but they're included in your 
income in your ordinary business Schedule C income. So those losses can be considered ordinary losses. All right. But it, there are very stringent guidelines to be considered a professional trader. I'm just going to go over them high level because, again, I don't know how many of you in here this actually pertains to, but I had the question. So I wanted to answer it. So you guys are talking a professional trader, someone who has at least 720 trades per year with 200, typically a thousand actual significant sales. OK, traders spend a good part of almost every day watching and trading the markets during trading hours. OK, we're talking five hours a day, four hours a week minimum to be considered a professional trader. This activity really does need to be your primary way to provide for your livelihood. OK, um, if you have a regular job and then you're doing this, it's going to look sketch to the IRS. All right. And the taxpayer. You, your profession as a professional trader, you still got to maintain a business like operation, good books, good records, you know, uh, continuing education, seminars, all this, the, and so on. All right. So again, not very many people are going to be considered this professional trader and get to take the tax benefit of being a professional trader. But I wanted to tell you, show you, or explain to you guys that it does exist because I was asked this question, like, does an LLC provide benefit for investing in the stock market? No tax benefit, legal benefit. 